this is a kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from heights and distance so here is the question find the angular elevation of the sun when the length of the shadow of a 30 meter long pole is 10 root 3 meter okay so we have to find the angular elevation of the sun. Angular elevation of the sun is nothing but the angle formed by the horizontal line and the line that formed from your position to the sun. Okay. So this is angular elevation. The angle formed by the angle formed between horizontal line and the line formed from your position to the sun is your angular elevation. Okay, now coming to the problem. Find the angular elevation of the sun when the length of the shadow of a 30 meter long pole. 30 meter long pole. The length of the shadow of a 30 meter long pole is 10 into root 3 meter. So, this is the length of the shadow of the long pole. Length of the shadow of the long pole. Okay. So, here we have to find the angular elevation of the sun. So, we have to find theta, the angle of elevation, angle of elevation, okay. So, Let us name this right angle triangle with A, B and C. So this is a right angle triangle, right angle at B. Okay. Solution. Let B, C be our long pole. BC be a long pole and AB, AB be the length of the shadow of the long pole. Okay, so we have BC equals to 30 meter and AB equals to 10 times root 3 meter. Okay, so here we have to find angular elevation that is we have to find angle C, A, B, theta. Angle C, A, B. Okay. So, from the figure, 
right angle triangle a b c where right angle at b you get tan theta equals to bc perpendicular by base perpendicular by base or you can say opposite by adjacent okay which is equals to bc by ab bc by ab so from this you'll get since we are given that the length of the shadow of 30 meter long pole is 10 times root 3 meter okay so using this we'll get tan theta equals to we are having bc equals to 30 meter over ab equals to 10 times root 3 meter okay so you can write this as 30 meter as 3 times 10 meter divided by 10 into root 3 meter okay 10 10 gets cancelled again 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 so we'll replace 3 by root 3 into root 3 so you'll get root 3 into root 3 meter divided by root 3 meter okay root 3 gets cancelled and finally you'll get root 3 meter so this implies tan theta equals to root 3 meter okay so from this you can write it as theta equals to tan inverse of root 3 okay so this is equals to tan inverse of tan 60 degrees okay since tan 60 degrees is equals to root 3 if you want you can check 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 0 0 by 1 is 0 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2 is 1 root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 is root 3 1 by 0 is undefined infinity for sine cos and tan okay so tan 60 degrees is root 3 you're having Zero, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3, undefined. Okay? This is for tan, right? So, you'll have tan 60 degrees equals to root 3. So, you know that tan inverse of tan theta is equals to theta. So from this, this becomes 60 degrees. So therefore, theta equals to 
60 degrees. That means the angular elevation of the sun or you can say the angle of elevation is equals to 60 degrees. Therefore, angle C A B equals to 60 degrees. Thus, the angular elevation is 60 degrees. So, this completes the problem. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.